Welcome to How to Go Garden, I'm Scarlett. Today I'm out on my balcony and I wanna show you guys what I do to keep my tomatoes good, happy, healthy, and green when they're on a balcony. Now these are obviously in a terracotta pot and that means that they are going to lose a lot more moisture than if they were in a plastic pot and, and they're definitely gonna dry up faster than if they were in the ground. Now, I want the tomatoes to grow on the balcony because it's beautiful, they smell good, I have a balcony, right? is I plant my tomatoes into my pot, plant them as deep and far down as possible. And there is a really good video on that called How to Grow Organic Tomatoes. I highly recommend you guys checking it out on how I plant them up in the pot. The thing that I wanna mention in this video is on the top. You probably can't see that, but I've taken, I've gone out into the garden and I've collected moss, lots and lots of moss. And I've shoved all this moss down at the base. Oops, and now it's falling out. <laughs> but I've shoved all this moss down at the base. Now what that is gonna do is it's going to kind of insulate. Essentially, this is like an insulation, a natural insulation made by Mother Nature, and it is going to keep this pot nice and moist. So I have not watered it today. It's only a little bit wet from the dew, and if I put my hand, it is definitely wet in there. Well, that is really cool. So the same thing I've done on this big pot here and this little pot, which I'm just about to show you guys what I do about with uh, with yellow yellow leaves on this one. Um, this one lives in my kitchen, so it doesn't have any moss, but it will have moss soon. I have some coriander growing right now on the bottom, um, but I do plan on putting some moss in here too. This is, I know this is a really short video and I know this is a really short tip, but it is definitely worth it if you're growing on a balcony and this goes for any of your plants. My biggest tip growing on a balcony is put something like moss or straw, anything you can get your hands onto, onto the top, make it really thick, something like two or three inches, nice and thick, all the way up to the edge. Make sure the soil is down low enough so when you put a lot of water in, the thing can fill up and really drain all the way through. If your soil is too high and too close to the top of your pot, then you won't have enough room for the water. You'll be just putting a little bit of water, it'll be spilling out, you'll lose nutrients, that's not good. So you want to have enough space that you can fill it really, really with a lot of water, maybe a liter or two of water at a time, and let it drain all the way through. And that moss up on the surface, it will absorb all that water and act like a sponge, like an insulation sponge, a gift from Mother Nature just to you to keep your plants good and happy on your balcony. Be sure to stay tuned because soon I'm going to show you guys how I make my very own homegrown natural fertilizer using everyday ordinary things, leftover bits from tables, scraps like coffee grinds and eggshells, um, old banana peels, and how I put that all together, let it ferment really well into a crazy concentration of stinky, like food bombing what? And then later I will pour it out in tiny little amounts into water and fertilize my plants. So just stay tuned for that in the next episode or in a few episodes down the line. Um, definitely subscribe if you're if you are a organic gardener and you want to know, know more. I've got tons of awesome stuff coming your way. And I've got tons of stuff that's already out there. I've been doing this for a few years now on YouTube. So um, I think we've got over, well over a hundred videos. So if you guys are new to gardening, then go back and check out my playlist. My playlist on tomatoes, on onions, on potatoes, on garlic, on all greens, little uh, summer fruits, winter fruits, on winter gardening and summer gardening, on indoor gardening, on pot gardening. I've got lots and lots and lots of great stuff for you guys. It's all organic and it's over three different locations at my home, at my allotment, here at my studio, on my balcony. There's lots of different stuff. Highly recommend. Oh, and also patio gardening. So I will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and give me a comment. Tell me what's going on. How's your garden going? How's the weather where you are? Tell me what you love to grow. What is your favorite vegetable? What is your favorite thing? Um, let's start a discussion. Toodaloo.